Welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the Remet Knives Steed. This is my second premium folder from Remet that I've had on the channel. The first was the Remet WD-107 and this one impressed me tremendously. So I'm really hoping this one does the same. You have a full size EDC knife coming in at 8.11 inches long with a 3.3 inch drop point blade of Bowler M390 stainless steel. And if this M390 holds up half as good as this one did, I will be very, very excited. You have a drop point, like I said, swedge up top to thin out the tip a little bit, but you still have a good bit of meat there. Nice and robust. If you had to do some twisting and turning, you should be okay. You do have a sharpening chawl, however, they missed the plunge line, so it's already starting to widen up in the back right there. You can see it big time here. I would have loved to see them pull that out a little bit more so I didn't have to do that myself. The blade has somewhat of like a bead blasted finish which smudges up pretty easily. Uh, that's another thing I would have loved a, a raw stone wash or even this sand wash finish that they got here. It's basically like a bead blast that they polish over. Um, this one's a fingerprint magnet but I, I prefer it over this regular blasted finish just because that leaves uh, steel open for corrosion. Even though I haven't had any problems with the corrosion. You do have a little row of jimping there that is grippy. If you choke back like this, I think they could have made it all the way to the end right here where they started that swedge. You have a decent height flat grind that is ground down to around 17 thousandths behind the edge. So it should perform pretty well. Let's find out. Just like on the WD-107, this knife has a really, really good edge. And it's, it's slicing very well also. Um, I, I tried to do long cuts as much as possible, and everything did pretty darn well. You got a, a decent bit of straight edge to the knife. And uh, let's just hope it has bite to it. It feels pretty good. Now we're going to test the ergos, see how well the edge wants to bite. And right away, it's wanting to bite into this wood. I'm able to make fine curls with very light pressure and we slowly start to ramp up the pressure more and more. Uh, the handle filled out the hand nicely, pocket clip stayed out of the way of my palm and there was nothing really you know digging or prodding into my hands that I noticed but uh, my medium sized hands do miss the little point they have on the back underneath part of the scale. So. If you have large, extra large hands, you possibly could be landing on that spot. But for me, it was nice and comfortable, nice and locked in, and I was able to get a lot of force into this wood. Now, time to test it into this half-inch twisted sisal rope. And I'm about to say it on the screen, but man, I'm sorry. I did not realize I got my cutting board on top of a log that I have uh, to cut onto. And I had no idea how much it was rocking till after... Uh, I think I tested this one. I, I put something underneath the log so it didn't rock so much. So I apologize, but um, it's performing nicely. You got the right amount of belly to easily cut on a flat cutting surface. It's mainly push cutting, and that edge has a lot of aggression, a lot of toothiness to it, and it's holding its edge. Uh, does not feel like it's slowing down at all, and uh, everything was comfortable in the pinch grip as well. Uh, I, I get through 80 cuts before I run out of uh, rope and definitely could have done more. Uh, we'll have to see how it does once we do the rest of the test, but so far so good. And like I said, it still has that, that bite to it that, I, that you'd want to see, especially with M390. So, so far it's uh, performing like the WD-107 and that's a very, very good thing in my opinion. That knife really, really impressed me. I've got to get the last piece. All right. Being that it does have a high tip, you, I am using the belly instead of the tip to do a drag cut just because it's a lot easier. Um, it's going through all this material very easily um, and nothing seemed to be giving it any problems whatsoever. I must have put something underneath the log after that, that uh, sisal rope testing because it's not shaking anymore. Thank goodness. But yeah, here in the 10 ounce denim, I can see it still has a lot of bite. And yeah, once again, call me impressed. Remet, y'all doing a good job. 
Alright, let's test that edge out after all that cutting. Yeah. That's what I figured. It still feels nice. Very good. Alright, now let's look at the deployment action of the knife. You have a flipper deployment, some jimping up there, light switch. It comes out nice and fast. If you want to do a push button, it comes out a little bit faster. And even though there's not thumb studs on the knife, no thumb disc, you can see this little bit of texture they put on both sides of the knife. And I can actually use that texture because it is grippy enough and it has a little lip right there to slow roll the knife. I think that's pretty darn cool. And sometimes I can reverse flick it. Ugh, not this time. I can thumb flick it at least. But I like the fact that I can slow roll it. That's pretty darn neat. The knife is riding on cage ceramic ball bearings, giving it that nice and smooth action, nice and snappy action. Take a look at the scale area. You have titanium scales with this cool inlaid carbon fiber that is on both sides. I like seeing that. Nice decorative pivot there. I think that looks nice as well. You have some nice milling here. On the in the troll area and the milling that we saw in the WD-107 just in a different spot. Your hardware is all Torx T8 except for the pocket clip is Torx T6 but I'm perfectly a-okay with that. Those inlays I have not seen any gaps anywhere no high spots everything's nice and flush. I don't feel any of the transition spots and I think that looks pretty neat. You have a lanyard hole and you have a reversible tip up mill titanium pocket clip. I was a little worried because it's so low on the knife that it would become a hot spot. But for me, at least it was A-OK, -okay. uh, probably because they've knocked all the edges off and no pokey spots anywhere. Love seeing that. And I actually like the design of that pivot. You have excellent blade to handle ratio. You're not going to come in contact with a tip, but they went as far as they possibly could. Love seeing that. Being that they already milled out the pockets for the carbon fiber on both sides, there is no internal milling. Bringing your weight to 146.4 grams or 5.164 ounces. Even though that is kind of substantial, the knife is perfectly balanced, giving it a more light, nimble feeling in hand. This is a button lock. You got a nice recess spot so you don't accidentally disengage that button. And they got a little spiral pattern on there for... I guess a little bit of texture is pretty smooth in my opinion. Uh, lock up on it is nice and solid. When I say I can't muscle any play at all, <laughs> nice and solid lock up just like on the WD-107. Quick size comparison with the Ontario Rat 1 and 2. Very similar in size to the Spyderco PM2 and a good bit bigger than the Power 3. And it's a little bit bigger than the Remet WD-107. Nitpicks and complaints. I would have loved to see this sharpening trowel extended so you have some sharpening life before it starts to do that right there. And I would have loved either the same finish on the blade as the W107 or just a raw stone wash would have been excellent. But overall, I think it's an outstanding knife, especially for right under $200. I think they go for $198. Make sure if you do plan on picking one up, you look below it on the Amazon link. If you look below it, sometimes th there was a $10 discount coupon code today whenever I checked. So that would bring it to 188 or I think I even have a discount code. If it doesn't pop up on the screen, make sure to check in the description, maybe on top of the link. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.